G'day guys, Sean Savage here from Streaker Marine. Behind us is a Haynes Signature 525F. We're ready to put it in the water here at Patterson River. We're gonna give it its first to test. It's been an ultra popular boat for us down here. And there's plenty of reasons why. It's a single axle trailer. It's a really nice proportional boat. It's got a great cabin, heaps of fishing room. Really suits our local environment. So we'll chuck it in the water and see if it's the right boat for you. If there's something that boating has to be these days, it's gotta be easy. It doesn't matter if you're boating by yourself for a sneaky fish after work, or you've got the family and friends on board for the weekend away, we've gotta have simple mechanisms to make our boating as easy and streamlined as possible. Yamaha have such a fantastic product, and that's why Yamaha and Haynes Signature have a, a relationship together. It's a simple turn of the key, Yamaha four strokes. This is a brand new engine, it's never been in the water. We don't have to worry about anything anymore. If you, if you went boating when you were a kid, you would have found that things were a lot trickier. These days, it's simple. It's got to be fun and it's got to be easy. Dumbia Super Roller Trailers, very easy to use. They roll off a rolling mechanism. So by just gently engaging a little bit of gear, just enough that the prop's turning and holding the momentum of the boat on the trailer, our, our help at the front here is just undoing the winch and the safety chain. Simply engage neutral, and the boat will roll off as simple as that. So now, let's head out in Port Phillip Bay and give this boat its real test. We're heading out of Patterson River down here in Victoria. It's a very uh, much a popular spot for our Melbourne boaties to head out of. So we like to test our boats where people are gonna use them. The SVDH hull that we have on our hand signatures is critical for Melbourne boating. Plain, nice and soft, we can play it at such a slow speed. So when the waves are quite large and short together, we don't have to go fast to sit on top of the water. We can be nice and slow, comfortable and under control. We do a lot of distances when we head out of here. So the fuel saving we have with this hull design is really noticeable when we really stretch its legs. So we're gonna head out here now. We'll go through some rev ranges. We'll go through some stability and understand why this hull has been so popular in Melbourne for so long. So the first thing I wanted to see when putting this boat in the water is we do have a full tank of fuel. We've got maximum horsepower, which is 130 horsepower. Just wanted to go through the rev ranges and see how well this engine suited to the boat. The SVDH hull did an amazing job of playing it exceptionally flat. So when I took off, I didn't get any bow lift. It wouldn't really matter if I had people sitting in the rear lounge or in the cabin. The boat's extremely well balanced, so it gets up nice and effortlessly. At 3,500 RPM, I'm doing 37 kilometers an hour. The boat's super efficient, very, very happy at that speed. One thing I did find is as I went faster, the boat seemed to perform better and better. 4,500, 55 kilometers an hour, 6,200 RPM, 70 kilometers an hour but it almost got softer as I went faster. The hull was exceptionally nice underway. Bringing the boat back down at its rest is very gradual and easy and predictable to drive. Stability is one thing the Haynes Signature have, and they have it in spades. And that's one of the reasons why this boat's so popular for our snapper fishermen down here in Western Port and Port Phillip Bay. You can anchor out here, move all around the boat, nice flat transom, transom door, live bait tank, fold up that rear lounge and has so much room that's this designed for this style of boating. With the heritage that Haynes Signature have, they just know how to go boating. The access throughout this 5.25 meter boat is outrageous. I have so much room forward of the boat. You'll find this is a really popular spot for A, anchoring if we're not running an anchor winch, but the kids love it up here as well. Nice cushions throughout the boat, heaps of room. If you want to put the kids away, pets, whatever it is, you've got plenty of room in this cabin. Walk straight through massive bolster seats. So where we're sitting in the driver passenger, we can sit down nice and low and be ultra comfortable, lift the bolster up and we're really on top of the action. So in a boat like this, we're not just worried about the back of the boat and what we're doing when we're fishing, it's utilizing the space from bow to stern. So from leaving the bow of the boat and working back to predominantly where the action is, we have these driver passenger, the navigator and helmsman seats. That bolster, I find a massive advantage. Even when I'm sitting backwards, I can just sit a little bit higher and if I want to be on top of the action, that's how I do it. One thing that this boat has is width. So I've got this beam in this driving helm area to have these massive seats, 
but also not be restricted with my access from bow to stern passing these seats. Once I walk back from here, I can drop the seats down, I have a folding rear lounge, and I'm right where the action's gonna be. I've got my fiberglass bait board, stainless steel snapper racks, live bait tank, transom door, whatever I do, if it's family boating or it's fishing, this boat's action packed and ready to go. So if you are looking for a new boat, single axle trailer, under two ton, easy to manage, and a whole heap of family fun, this might be something to check out. The Haynes Signature 525F.